Well, in the last week, we've seen a ton of people lose their jobs over everything to do with video games and tech and all this other stuff. But Microsoft Activision Blizzard layoffs are a little bit different because of things that they're shutting down, namely the physical games division of Microsoft Xbox. Well, before I get into the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all those fun things and try and leave a comment down below. Do whatever you can to help the algorithm discover this video. Anyway, Microsoft lays off 1900 Activision Blizzard and Xbox employees. Blizzard president Mike Yaba, Yabra uh, has also decided to leave and Blizzard's survival game has been canceled. They had a survival game that was coming out. Uh, we, we, we don't know what it'll ever be because it's gone the way of the layoffs. So the cuts work out to roughly 8% of the overall Microsoft gaming division as it stands around 22,000 employees in total. That's a giant company, but of course this is Microsoft. They, they run everything that has to do with online content, with your computer in a lot of cases. Um, your other options are Linux or Apple uh, with Safari. And honestly, I'd still stick with Windows because it's the most friendliest program out there. But these are what happens when a company gets bought out, when the mergers happen. A lot of people losing your job here in this certain circumstance, this is not anything new when it comes to mergers. They, what happens is the two companies come together and everything just becomes redundancies, right? You would see this many people leave, but you're probably going to see in the next couple of years, you're gonna see that slowly creep back up as things get reorganized and figured out and all this other stuff. But the biggest part of this, of this whole thing, is that Xbox games may not be getting physical releases after Microsoft's latest reported layoffs. The department that made Xbox physical games is gone. They're, so going for the new generation of, of consoles won't have a physical disk drive. And they're kind of going this way already. And I've spoken about physical games and the digital content world uh, to an extent on this channel quite a bit of time. Reports indicate that Microsoft has let go the team responsible for bringing physical media to retail, signaling Microsoft's pivot, pivot to an all digital future. Now it comes as no surprise as companies line up around the block now to stop physical game sales in their stores. Walmart is now being reported as the next victim of this uh, situation where digital for content is really where people are pushing it. And not only is Walmart doing it, but so is Best Buy. Best Buy is stopping sales of DVDs and Blu-rays next year. And this, this going into 2024, of course. These are the physical media, losing physical media at this point absolutely sucks. Um, you know, I spoke about how records are outselling CDs now. Uh, DVDs are just, they're just download a movie via a streaming service. Uh, everyone wants to get you on that subscription hook and that's where this is going. And Microsoft seems to be agreeing with this idea where your subscription or Game Pass in this case is going to be where they're going to introduce most of their new games. We're already seeing this with digital games where they will offer a exclusive early access title for these games as well for a couple dollars more and it, it, it sucks it truly does suck it really puts consoles like the sega genesis and the super nintendo the nintendo entertainment system really puts them at the forefront now as something that's going to be even more collectible these digital games is the way of the future. But CDs and games um, for how big these games are now, where you're getting games one to 200 gigs per game, it's just the way things are. You can't physically make these things. This is why I like the Switch games because they're on an SD style card. They're still on this cartridge, so there is still something physical that you actually have to use. And that's the difference with Nintendo from PlayStation and Microsoft, is you still have this actual item that's not a CD that is not limited by the amount of data that's on there. You can compress it down quite a bit onto an SD card. We're seeing them get up to uh, one 
terabyte at this point for these SD cards. So it does help a lot and help that along and why Nintendo might have something more in that background. But these layoffs and losing physical games, it sucks. It absolutely is horrific for the for the industry for the consumer because now the digital games you're never going to possibly own the eulas that get updated it comes down to it where a game might sit there and be existing like say the crew uh which recently was shut down their servers are being shut down and now there's a youtubers that's actually suing them suing the company that owns the crew because they paid triple a price for this game they they play the game they they've built their career about around this game and it hasn't been really legally sought out in the courts so it's going to be a very interesting time going forward um at this point i'm going to say five to ten years before physical games are completely disappear before they're completely gone and the market space for actual physical games is going to be more collectible it's going to be something more so where does this really stand do the do the physical games really hold a collection at this point nintendo's subscription they're opening access to all the old school games via their emulation and we're seeing similar things with the playstation and the xbox as well i don't know where this lies it, it creates a whole new scenario on where games are going to be and you know at some point emulation might just overtake digital games anyway i've been your proud canadian phoenix in shadow i'm signing off here don't forget to like and subscribe i will see you again very soon